This video gives step-by-step -step instructions for how to print presentations for patrons. So when a patron comes up to the desk and asks you to print something for them, you open the email page that should be up on your browser. Um, if it isn't open, you can click this printer inbox bookmark at the top of the browser. Once the email's up, you ask the patron for their name and find the email from them. And once you open their files or documents uh, for printing, you go over all the printing details with them. So um, the printing presentations is just a little different. So um, if, if they want to add, uh, you'll go ahead and ask them how many copies they want, if they want it in color, black and white. Um, and how many slides per page they want, which is a which is what's really different. So if they want more than one slide per page, you'll go to File, and then uh, Print Settings and Preview. And the first selection will allow you to change the number of slides per page. Generally, students like to do about four per page. Um, that fits really well on a sheet. Um, so this is what it looks like if it's four per page. And once you have that all set up, you can click print. And then um, if you want to wait, once you click print and the dialog comes up, then you can go over um, copies and black and white and color. So if, if they want more than one copy, you can change that here. If they want color, you can change that there or do black and white if they would rather do that. It's definitely cheaper. <laughs> and um, then you'll just click print. And I will not do that, so I don't waste any ink. Um, so the patron should pay you or give you their IOU information before you give them their printing. You can go ahead and print it, but you, you need to take the money from them before they get their paper. And then once the amount has been paid, you must enter it in the receipt listing for printing. So I have that open here. If it's not open, you can click this printing receipt uh, bookmark right up here to open it. So um, I think I ended with black and white, right? So that was three pages, so that would be 30 cents. And then uh, if uh, you always enter the, the date, the name, and whatever they owe. If they give you a check, you need to put the amount in the check column and then put the check number in the check number column. Check numbers are usually at the top right of a check. Um, don't mess with anything to the right of the sheet. That is for me and the office to use only. And please don't forget to put amounts for any money paid to the library into this receipt listing. This is turned into the accounting department weekly and it has to be accurate. If a patron owes more than $15, that can be receipted in the receipt book by Ms. Massey. And you should write their name or their student number or both on a sticky note and give me the money so that I can receipt it. And if you need change for um, for anything over $15, you know, just make sure you get me so that I can get the change for them. Don't take it out of the tray because uh, that will make all the, the totals wonky when we get ready to turn in our money. So um, I went over this in the previous video. I went over a lot of this in the previous video, but I just wanna remind you if anybody wants if anyone has change and they just want to apply that as a credit, you come over here in Atrium and you'll pull up their account and then you'll click the amount on fines owed. Even if it says zero, you can click it, click that and it'll come up. And then if they want to pay some of their fine with their change, they can do that. If they do not want to do that, then let's say I had 30 cents. So um, let's say I give you a dollar, then I'll have um, 70, 80. I'm not very good at math. Um, and then you will click the apply change to credit and then you'll deselect this and then you'll click pay and it just gave me a dollar sixty credit. Oh, that's right. Cause I had a 90 cent credit from the, the one before. So, um, once you do that, they'll have their credit and anytime they have fines or something that'll be applied. Um, so that is how to print presentations.